I think that's it, right? For chapter 3. What's chapter 4? Heavy formation. Yeah, there was nothing here. Basically, what happens is, is Orochimaru, his body is basically running out of time. So he says, oh, I have to take Sasuke's body now, or otherwise I won't be able to transfer into another body. No, actually, my bad. That's not what happened. What happened is, is um, Sasuke decided to leave because he felt that he had learned all that he could. And so Orochimaru decides to try and take Sasuke's body at that point. But uh, Sasuke fights him and defeats him. But not before he seals Orochimaru inside of himself, I believe. Um, so he couldn't escape and come back to fight him. From there, what Sasuke does is he travels to all of Orochimaru's hideouts and recruits a whole bunch of elite people, which is Suigetsu, uh, one of the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist. He recruits Jugo, who is some random guy I don't remember. Apparently, he fights Daidara. And that's basically it. He also recruits Cardin, but you know no one really cared too much about that. Now, this one, this chapter, basically these two chapters are all about Sasuke and what Sasuke is doing. In this chapter, Sasuke finally fights against his brother, Itachi. And Suigetsu fights against Kisame, arguing over that stupid blade Kisame has, but no one really cared too much about that. <laughs> they forgot about that part. Now, this fight is probably my favorite, too. I enjoyed this fight. And I think there's two more after this. Because, after all, this was Sasuke's real reason for leaving the leaf and his only reason for living was to kill his murderous brother me did at your feet eh let's get already gone My thing is, this guy is very cheap, like always. Itachi is one of the cheapest characters in a Naruto game. What jutsu do I have? I have no clue. Oh, Dragon Flame. Well, see what I mean? Look, he's cheap. No, fuck you. Oh my god. It's so annoying, man. I'm just. It's like a pinball machine. It really is, see? Look, I'm already, I already lost a health bar. In this game, you only have two health bars as opposed to the three in Storm 1. Can't even catch this asshole. Come on. Fuck you. I don't know. This is going to be tough if, for me to clutch this. Get to the quick time event. You're whimpering so much? God damn. He must be out of chakra because he's not doing anything. Here we go. They don't show the uh, the chakra meter for the actual bosses. Oh shit! Well, he's dead. Where is he? The eternal black flames. Get out of there. Those flames cannot be put out by normal means. The only way you can put them out is with uh, Tsukuyomi, I believe. The gathering storm clouds come to me. What the fuck? Oh shit, he's going to sick it on me. Oh! <laughs> he destroys the entire Uchiha hideout just to prove a point. Holy shit. What happened last night? You Is wish this the death you had imagined for me. <coughs> you really have gotten stronger, Sasuke. Without this, I would have been dead. Yep, the Susano or Susano, however you pronounce it. Now it 
Ops for real. Overpowered as shit. This is my trump card. The Susano. Susano. Out of the way. Yeah, he blocks it, see? I won't be able to hit him with any projectiles. He blocks him. Can't even reach him. Out of the way. Can I? Yes, I can. Here we go. Break his guard. Oh shit! Ugh! So ridiculous. Yep, the shield will protect him. Rocks! Gotta run around. Oh, what? There was no backdash! Oh, come on, Sasuke. There was no backdash for me. Why? Chidori. Get a little bit of big damage on him. Oh shit, cleave right down the middle. Oh. Sass so this is exactly how it behaves in fucking multiplayer. It's ridiculous, man. It's unavoidable as shit. Chidori. Like, I wish I was lying. This is exactly what the multiplayer is like, except you can move with Susano. I get no fucking backdash. God damn it. The most vital part of the actual attacking phase. I don't get it. See, it's, it's so brutal. Because I have no health left over from the beginning. I'm gonna die. I don't have enough health to fight. See, it's not actually this stage that's hard. It's the first part of the stage. Swipe. Is that it? I forget. Oh, are you kidding? I got hit with the back of the gourd. Well, now I'm screwed. The flame might hit me and kill me. Thank you. Woo! I think I might survive. I did it. Only because of the quick time event, I'll survive with no health. Left. And he just keeps running straight. So that quick time event was not actually, you know, correct. You can't keep Orochimaru in check. I can lend you power. Yep, see? He couldn't. He was using part of his chakra to keep Orochimaru in check. And obviously he exhausted it while fighting Itachi. Hello. I think he appears on top of one of them. AB! <laughs> yep, he is running out of time, man. Oh, hey, look who it is! <laughs> Finally, it emerges. Finally, the dickhead emerges.
I only see seven heads. Come on, fuck you, Itachi. Fuck you. Mm. Mm. That is a tough quick time event to get four stars on. Yep, and Orochimaru thinks he's won. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> Got him. He hid the Susano. He wouldn't see it. I think this is actually how he dies the first time around. He removes him from Sasuke's body along with the curse mark. This is it. Sasuke. And now you are mine. Ugh. Ugh. I have nothing to throw at him. Is there anything I can do? Ah, oh, my punches are weak. I defeat him. Can't load any more chakra. You lose. Ugh. All those episodes. All those betrayals for nothing. There's nowhere to run. He's too tired. He exhausted everything trying to fight him. That's it, man. I have nothing. All I can do is back away. I won't run away and turn my back to him because that's dying like a coward. I'll face my death like a man. Curse this. Curse this repetitive dialogue. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh shit, maybe I should have actually turned around once to see where I was going. What the fuck? My she saw that my controller was broken, right? It was making me walk towards him. Sasuke. You. <laughs> Poke. Actually, he did more than just poke him on the forehead and then die, unfortunately. He did way more than that. That's what actually happened when he went to search for Naruto. Settle for hating me. Promised to teach me new shuriken jutsu. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. brother. You're so far away. It's just the two of us. I'll always be with you, you know. Damn. And so he died. Now, he actually did two important things before he died. That poke on Sasuke's forehead was actually meant to attack Mandaro Uchiha. Transfer to Jutsu that would automatically activate. Yeah, fuck that bonus condition. It's bullshit. You have to be flawless at the beginning of the match or otherwise you won't get it. Toby. The land of fires. The land of fires, Toby.